Hi guys, welcome to Explanator. Today's session is going to be on how to obtain a three-phase AC supply from a DC supply using a three-phase inverter. To churn out a three-phase AC output from a DC input, we need a DC supply, six thyristors to work as switches, and a star-connected load with four terminals A, B, C, and O. The switches are programmed to turn on and off at regular intervals of 60 degrees to obtain a three-phase voltage. The snubber and commutation circuits have been omitted for simplicity. Now, there are two possible patterns for working based on the time length of the gating switches. First, 180 degree conduction in which each thyristor remains in on position for 180 degrees and second 120 degree conduction in which each thyristor conducts for 120 degrees. In this session we will study the 120 degree mode of operation. For 120 degree mode of operation the circuit is operated in six steps each step length being of 60 degrees. Each thyristor is triggered on after an interval of 60 degrees and stays in on position for 120 degrees. Starting with thyristor T1 which fires at omega t equals 0 and conducts till omega t equals 120. While T1 is conducting at omega t equals 60, T2 fires and remains on till 180 degrees. The pattern continues for thyristors 3, 4, 5 and 6. The sequence is continued for another cycle of 360 degrees. The blank spaces in between the thyristors are the times where no thyristor conducts from the same leg. In comparison to 180 degree mode of operation, it is seen that in 120 degree mode of operation, there exists a 60 degree interval between turning off one device and turning on the complementary device in the same leg. This provides sufficient time for commutation. When in step 1, that is from 0 to 60 degrees, thyristors 6 and 1 are working simultaneously. Similarly, in step 2, 1 and 2, step 3, 2 and 3, step 4, 3 and 4, step 5, 4 and 5, and in step 6, thyristors 5 and 6 are conducting together. This pattern repeats for further cycles. We will now see how the circuit behaves in each step. In step 1, thyristors 6 and 1 are conducting. So close these two switches. Now draw an equivalent circuit. The DC supply has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. It is seen that terminal A is connected to the positive bus, terminal B is connected to the negative bus while terminal C remains unconnected. The terminal O is in common. Each load has an impedance Z and as AO and OB are in series, the total impedance is Z plus Z. If a current I1 flows in the closed circuit, it will drop a potential as per the polarity shown. The value of the current is given by total voltage divided by the total impedance, which is Vs divided by 2z. The voltage drop across each impedance will be total current multiplied by total impedance. The voltages developed will be Vao, Vbo and Vco. Note that we consider OB and not BO as O is neutral therefore more positive compared to B which is connected to the negative terminal of the supply in step 1. Consider step 2 with thyristors 1 and 2 in conduction. The equivalent circuit in this case has A on the positive bus, C on the negative bus. The current will have same magnitude, however the drop across the loads will vary as terminal B is not connected to the supply. In step 3, thyristors T2 and T3 are working together. 
the terminal A is not connected. The value of the current in the circuit will remain the same, but the voltage values are different. In step 4, T3 and T4 conduct at the given instance of time. The voltage values are changing as per impedance values. In step 5, thyristors 4 and 5 work together and in step 6, 5 and 6 conduct together. Next, we will plot the values. The three phase line to neutral voltages to be plotted are VAO, VBO and VCO. But in some cases, the voltages VOA, VOB and VOC have been calculated. The relations are shown in the table. The calculated upper value is Vs by 2 and lower value is minus Vs by 2. We need to plot the values on the graph. So draw the segments to accommodate Vs by 2 and minus Vs by 2. Do the same for the other two axes. In order to obtain the line to neutral voltage, we plot the values shown in the table. The three values in step 1 are plotted followed by step 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The sequence repeats for another cycle. After all the values are plotted, join the lines to complete the line to neutral voltage plot. For obtaining line to line plot, we subtract the line to neutral plots. So to plot VAB, subtract VBO from VAO. We observe that the highest magnitude for line to line voltage is Vs and lowest is minus Vs. For plotting VBC, subtract VCO from VBO. This plot looks similar to VAB but with a phase shift. And lastly, voltage VCA is the difference between VCO and VAO. The complete plot looks like that shown in the figure. The phase voltage has one positive pulse and one negative pulse, each of 120 degrees for one cycle of alternating voltage. And the line voltages have six steps per cycle of output alternating voltage. So with six thyristor switches and a star connected load, a three phase AC supply can be obtained from a DC supply. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, then hit the like button, share the same and do subscribe to explanator to never miss an update. Do check out the other videos in the library and drop in your suggestions in the comment section below.